This video is packed full of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks and DIYs that you can easily try yourself and get incredible results. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's get on into it. Now I am going to use painter's tape to create a gorgeous custom garden flag. I love doing this so much with the Dollar Tree placemats. So this is just a fabric placemat, but you can actually buy some Scotch Guard that you can spray on here that will protect it from the elements and just kind of weatherproof it. But I wanted to share with you how I am decorating this. I um, feel like these placemats are great. The back is kind of slick, so that side I feel like will be a lot better. So you just want to make sure that you are protecting the front. And I am keeping this out of direct sunlight. But I wanted some really fun, bright colors or stripes on here. So I am using my painter's tape, putting that down, going in with some agave uh, blue color turquoise paint. This is by Waverly Chalk Paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this up while it's wet. I didn't even want to give it time for any of the paint to seep under this painter's tape. And since it is, is like a very like textured fabric, go ahead and pull that up. And then I wanted to cut out a stencil so I'm not just freehanding on here. So I cut out a house and the word welcome. And I'm going to weed out the actual letter so that I can use this as a stencil and paint inside of it with some mineral colored paint. My black sharpie did want to bleed a little bit whenever I got off of the paint and onto the actual fabric so I tried to just keep it on top of that mineral color paint, gave it a few extra details, and then wanted to make the little hanger at the top so I um, just glued over about an inch and a half and then I was able to weave this on my garden flag stand and I feel like it's so bright and colorful and love this outside. I wanted to share this as an example. If you love frame photos, but want to make them yourself so that you can customize them, you can actually use Dollar Tree's MDF signs and just use the painter's tape around the edges to create like a faux frame. This is going to look so much nicer having the border around the edging and actually look like a frame photo rather than just painting the entire thing white. So to make this cute little sign, I just painted that white, let it dry. I had these little borders from Hobby Lobby, but any type of Dollar Tree jute ribbon would work or buffalo ribbon. Cut these down to size. I had another large wood word. This is from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted it and put it there, glued some extra little details to the top and to cover over the original little holes from the hanger, added in some greenery and some of the new beads to really dress up the hanger, but I feel like this looks really cute. You also can pair this with some really fun artwork from Dollar Tree. So I loved that green color. I know that is really trendy right now. And I wanted to place it on some more of this stamped yarn. So I did a complete different design. I used one of these longer boards and wrapped the entire thing and then stamped it like long ways. This looked so neat. I loved it. I'll be doing this to so many more things. And then adding that artwork over the top just made this artwork like pop and it actually looks like something that you would purchase at the store but just taking my time and repeating like stamping this over and over as even as possible applying like new paint after every couple of stamps I love that Dollar Tree keeps putting out these huge 11 by 14 frames. It allows us to make some really big artwork and just get like a higher end look for a lot less. 
Another great option is this solar stake light. So it has all the pieces inside the little stake piece that goes on the bottom. So make sure that is included when you are shopping for these at Dollar Tree because every time that I shop there, I can definitely tell people have kind of messed with the solar light. So always make sure all of the pieces are there. I go ahead and pull the stake out and put it in place. And then you can pull the little tab out. These light up really nicely. And I was gonna share with you that you can use vinyl to cut out if you have a Cricut or Silhouette machine, but just to make this super easy I'm using a sharpie marker so everyone can do this and just kind of free handing a couple of little lightning bugs that I think look really cute and whenever this is lit up at night the little lightning bugs are going to show up you could literally do any design that you would like and I also love to customize this with some random like Dollar Tree stickers so anything that has a really cool shape or letter so you could personalize this but went ahead and just played around with them I would recommend if you are going to be putting a sticker like this on it, I would do a coat of Mod Podge or spray it with a little bit of clear coat, but I think it's super cute. Even though I free handed the little bugs, I think they're really fun. And then you could definitely customize this to fit any scenery. I think these will be so fun to use for this fall. This next project is something that I've been dying to try forever. I wanted to try a freestanding piece of glass attached to some wood. I knew it would take a little bit of work because I couldn't just leave sharp corners up in the air, especially with young children in our house. So I was just going to play around with it. So the first thing I do is take two of these small little blocks that I found at Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and paint these with some steel colored gray chalk paint. Let these dry. I do brush in a little bit of darker elephant color just to give them a little bit of contrast and distressed looking and then I'm going to sandwich this glass in between these two pieces of wood. I still wanted most of the glass to show, so I didn't want to push this way too far down inside of the wood, so gluing this towards the top with a little bit of hot glue underneath as well as on top of the glass. Now you can stick another piece, like another block underneath for a little bit of support. This is the part that I was playing around with. I didn't know what it would look like to wrap this in rope, but I really had to try to protect those corners from anyone getting cut on this project. Obviously that is not the goal here. So we are covering this up with some hot glue and nautical rope, just attaching this as, as good as I could. And then I did go ahead and singe off all of the little hairs on the edges and add some more of the Walmart really fun sticker. I just thought this was so cute on the sticker paper how the little love was tucked underneath the family so I wanted to keep it just like that attached a little flower to the bottom and this looks so cool and gorgeous like displayed with other decor Now I know this piece is plastic, but I still am attaching it to some of Dollar Tree's serving ware, the glassware little black bowl, and that's going to be the base for this entire project. I didn't even worry about pulling off the labels because they're going to be all hidden and glued together, so you're not even going to see them, but I glued this garden tray to the black bowl, let this cool off so it wasn't going to go anywhere, and then just started to decorate around it. So I had so much fun gluing that nautical rope around the frame, I wanted to attach it to the top of this bowl. So going Going ahead and making sure that this is nice and secure and then I'll start to fill this in. My goal here was for the tiny little black rocks um, from Dollar Tree to be shown on top, but I didn't want to have to purchase like six packs of them, so I filled it in with some bigger rock that I already had, then put this tiny black rock on top. Now, this is an awesome hack if you've never tried this, definitely do. With any project like this, when you're using any type of tiny little rock that you don't want scattered or mess with with your kids um, or pets or anything, you can actually use Mod Podge, and I just poured a ton of it over the top. Now, 
you're going to want to let this set and completely cure before it turns clear. But just for video purposes, I didn't want to have to wait for this project. So I go ahead and stick in my little fake succulents. But you can see that even scratching it, the rocks aren't shifting around and they're going to stay nice and put. But loved how this turned out. Really cute. And I love that pop of black. Gives it more of like a modern look, but turned out really I was recently in Walmart and found this new like cutting board in the wood crafty section. It is six bucks. This is a great size. It is a gorgeous color wood. This had to come home with me. I wanted to share with you a really fun project you could make with this, but um, like always, you can definitely make this using Dollar Tree items. Dollar Tree has out tons of cutting boards right now with the little hole at the top. They come in a ton of different colors. I just would prefer to spend a little bit extra to get that gorgeous wood color because that's what matches my style. So for this, I am pairing it with a Dollar Tree candle holder, and then I'm using the strap off of one of these leather purses. So this is by the Juncture brand, and they have these out all the time. If you can't find it, Dollar Tree also sells um, leather ribbon sometimes, and then they also have out the new leather fabric that you can look for. But this worked perfect. I just tacked this down with hot glue, but what's really going to be holding it is this leather strap. I glued it down in place, and then using some thumbtacks for hardware, I'm going to actually hammer these down into the wood. So if you are using the plastic, just use a stronger adhesive um, if you're using the plastic cutting board but got these down in place hammered it down and then I'm going to be putting some flowers in here This is another piece that you could switch out the flowers. I could put some like fall leaves in here whenever it gets closer to fall. You could uh, switch them out for Christmas, like some greenery, but I think this looks so cute and summery right now. I just cut down some greenery to put in the top. This greenery is all from the Dollar Tree. I tied a little piece of this jute ribbon for the handle, and you could either set this out on the counter or hang it up. Either way, it looks really cute. had to share this hack with you guys if you love picking up some of the decorative plates or pieces from Dollar Tree and you just want to hang them up to get them off of your table or counter space to be more like a decorative accent. I pick up these little disc adhesive plate hangers from Amazon. You get a four pack for around $12 or that's what I paid for these. You definitely can look around. They sell larger ones or smaller ones, but to activate these, they're just kind of stapled on a little package. So I just pull them apart and you add like a little bit of water to the back. You let this set for about five minutes and it becomes really sticky and tacky and then you can stick this to the back of your plate i try to double check like the direction that i'm hanging this i want to hang these together and make them look cute with the direction of the design or whichever way that i want it to look hanging on the wall and then you just stick these on the plate and just add a little bit of pressure on them you're supposed to let these set completely overnight so they really adhere to it and they're not going to fall off the wall and break and then you can easily just stick a nail or screw in the wall and hang these up so this makes it super easy there's no worrying about anything that includes wires or worrying about these falling off the walls I have tested these out several times I never had a problem with them but I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in picking up a pack for yourself One of my favorite ways to use the fabric is just to frame it. This is super simple, takes five minutes or less. The like biggest problem here is just worrying about your fabric getting wrinkly. So I do like to go ahead and press it. I have the Cricut Easy Press, but any clothing iron will work if you just follow the instructions. But I just get out the eight by 10 piece of paper that's in the frame, cut it down to size, and just place, place this back in the frame. And it adds that perfect pop of color, especially in a time where a lot of people are decorating with so many neutrals. This is a very inexpensive easy way to add in those pops of colors for each season without spending a ton of money. First up, 
I am using one of these wooden snakes. I'm actually shocked to keep seeing these out at Dollar Tree. I just feel like they wouldn't sell that many to keep bringing them back off and on. But I think as much as I craft, I don't think I've ever used one of these wooden snakes in my DIY projects. So I thought it was a perfect time to go ahead and create some fun like decor with it. So the first thing I did was snap off the head and the tail so you obviously couldn't tell that this was a snake and it left this fun pattern behind. So I'm wrapping it around one of these wooden circles. Now this one come from Hobby Lobby for like $1.99 but they do sell similar options at Dollar Tree or you could use any flat circular piece. And then I laid it out so I could get the perfect fit, trimmed away any of the excess pieces that I needed to cut away and then just glued this straight to the wooden piece. Now at first I worried about the glue kind of poking out of the top but I ended up adding another layer of these wooden beads. Now these are from fall but Dollar Tree keeps bringing out more like wooden bead strands which is perfect for all these craft projects but just being super careful to get this as even as possible. Just to add a little bit of extra security, I'm flipping this over and going around it with some more glue. Now obviously you can use wood glue if you want a stronger hold, but just to make videos, I always tend to use hot glue, it's just super fast. But like I mentioned, trying to put another layer around the top and I feel like this is bringing in so much texture. I'm just going to be going over this with some white wash paint or just like dry brushing white paint on here. So I feel like all of this texture is going to show through and make it look like a nicer quality piece. I wanted this to stand up tall like a riser so I did pick up one of these concrete like little tea light holders and I'm going to be flipping that upside down underneath of this and I wanted it to match so going over with the white paint and I did struggle a little bit to get it down the groove so if you wanted to paint this white first you could before you glue everything together but this worked out fine I love how the natural wood is showing through the white paint. After I let this dry, all there's left to do is just glue the candle holder on the bottom of the circle. I tried to get it in the center the best I could, flip this over and it's ready to go. But this will be the perfect little area to house any candles. You could hang some wooden beads off of here. I'm using it for a little plant riser. I love finding projects that or decor pieces that I absolutely love and turning it into my own project or DIY that I know I can make a lot cheaper at home. So 15 bucks for a plant in a little bit of fake water, which is the resin. You can definitely make this on a budget using Dollar Tree Supply. So $1 and a 25 cents for the vase, $5 for the resin. I did end up using this entire kit just to make the water look really tall. And then just whatever floral pieces that you already have on hand or you want to pick up from Walmart so you can spend as much or as little on this as you want but just poured the resin uh, directly down inside the vase and then just stirred it inside there because I'm not going to need to like re-pour it so this made it really convenient and less mess and just try to have fun with this and pull off some of the floral stems I started with some of these smaller ones and they just wouldn't stand up very nice if you needed help you definitely could take some clear tape and just kind of do like the grid pattern on top of the vase to help the flowers stand up until the resin dries but I decided just to go ahead and get a larger piece that I could lean everything against. So some of these flowers are coming from Walmart. Some of them are from Dollar Tree. But just played around with this large pink flowers and then started leaning the smaller stuff up against it. Remember that you do have a little bit of time before the resin completely hardens. So keep checking on this project. Make sure that the little stems are still way down in the resin so nothing's popping up. Because you will have time and it will stay soft quite a while that you can press them back down inside. Thank you. 
These wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree Plus section are perfect for the base for any resin project. You can pretty much fill them up with anything that you want that's like low profile, kind of flat, and then pour the resin over them. So I wanted to make a fun beach scenery. You see tons of like little beach resin projects on Pinterest if you look them up to get you some fun ideas. But for this circle, I just wanted to go ahead and just kind of dry brush over the edges with white to lighten it up. And then this is just sand that I found in the backyard. So it's really dark. If he was using like really pretty white beach sand I feel like it would be even prettier I did try to even lighten this sand up by adding in some of the Dollar Tree white sand and you can tell it just I it just wasn't exactly what I was going for so I'll definitely love to make this project again with some lighter color sand but I go ahead and try it out so I can show you guys what it's gonna look like I do have some little seashells that I already had and just kind of spacing them out and then Dollar Tree has so much like uh, foil or accessories that you can put in resin so I am using a little bit of like a blue sparkle uh, foil sheet that comes in these small little containers and just kind of sprinkle it on everywhere I added in some darker rocks as well as some clear rocks that didn't really show up very well and then a couple of little diamonds so you can really put anything that you want in there and then mix up your resin and pour over it and give it plenty of time I had to pour this extra thick because some of the shells were really tall it just looks so cute all of my girls was begging to put this in their room. Okay, so I thought of an idea and I had to test it out. Taking one of these Dollar Tree mirrors, this is actually a really good size, and I wanted to put some of these diamonds in there and pour resin over it. So this is super easy. You do want to like seal it off, so I did put some hot glue in between the mirror and the frame just so it's going to hold my resin inside. Now when you are working with resin, always wear gloves and have proper ventilation and any type of protection that you need. Definitely look up all of the safety guides. Um, because it is a really strong like chemical smell that you do want to be safe around so make sure that I always like have fresh air and wearing gloves and I go ahead and put my diamonds in there and pour the resin over it letting this set up I did have to do a couple of pours but I did leave this overnight and half the day the next day and it dried really nicely and something fun that you could display jewelry on or make it like a candle plate How cool are these macrame rainbows using Dollar Tree supplies? All you need is some of this thick white rope that Dollar Tree has. I cut it down to size. I started off with three pieces, but I ended up doing four arches of the rainbow. Just I felt like it gave it more of a full look and I was able to add in extra colors. I taped the bottom so they don't unravel. And then just using any color of yarn that you would like, you just tie it above the piece of tape and then just keep twisting the rope. It's a lot easier when you are sitting down in a chair and just kind of doing this. It's relaxing and fun. I enjoyed this so much. I even had my husband in on helping me wrap these, but um, standing in front of the camera, it was, I kind of got it knotted up a little bit. So I did struggle in front of the camera, but like I said, just setting down, these were so easy to do. It's so satisfying getting them done and getting to stack them up. I removed the pieces of tape, glued these together, and then you can comb out the bottoms to create that really fun raveled look. After I got it completed, I just kind of punched a hole through the hot glue and then um, kind of stuck through some jute twine with three beads on them. I love how these turned out. I love how one looks more for like a boy's room and one for a girl's room, but these could um, definitely go in like any type of nursery or playroom. My girls went crazy over these, or you can even make some mini ones and then hang them like up on your rearview mirror. 